so apparently this makes it a ladies bike but I like the white better but the black one comes straight across like this the white one goes down but other than that I think they're the same exact bike Boss 3. Boss 3. Shimano 7 speed, Shimano Revo. Shimano 7 speed, Shimano 700C. Oh, so this one's frame is smaller. 43.2 centimeters, 46 centimeters. But I don't really know what that would do. So this one must be a little bit smaller. And see, this one has this back thing and this one doesn't have anything back here. They're the same price though. Either get the black one or I'm leaving and you'll get nothing. I guess we're getting the black one. Yeah, you are. Here it is, the Infinity Boss 3 disc black bike. We just got it at Costco and Xena is going to help me put it together. Now it does say simple assembly. So I'm not very smart. So hopefully they actually mean simple. If you hear a bunch of screaming and stuff, it's the kids down the street from me. I don't know if this knife's gonna do anything, but we'll see. You see a bunch of parts. They probably meant easy assembly for somebody that puts bikes together for a living. the tires is on. Come here, Sina. Come on. Come sit on your pillow. Lay down. Take a chill pill. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to um start taking all this stuff apart. It's interesting that they could have the back tire attached, but not the front tire.
Okay. So there is the front tire. Looks pretty big. I think it must be bigger than my current bike I have now. They sure have enough cardboard on it. Okay, this is for the warranty. I'll have to spin that. Now this is already attached, but just by that wire thing. I haven't seen any, oh, the instructions must be right on here. I guess Zena doesn't like me today. She's sitting over there by the door. It feels amazing out. It's not cold at all. This is, just has nothing in it. This looks like the seat, which actually looks pretty big. Looks pretty comfortable. So obviously that would just go right. And then the only other piece there is, is the tire, and then this, and the handlebars that are hanging down. So let's read the directions. Oh, and there's the other pedal.
This is like not directions. This is like a car manual, but for a bike. Okay, I found the assembly. Okay, getting started. So they give you an Allen wrench here. So right now, this is the first step, I think. There's a lot of technical words, but it, we're putting on the handlebars. Ooh, those are nice and slimy. Okay, so both of those came off. Then this piece lifts off. And then you put this. The pictures they show you aren't even this bicycle. So I'm kind of confused. So in this photograph, this drawing, they show you a straight handlebar, which my handlebar is not straight. And my handlebar has this and brakes on it. And then in what looks to be an actual photograph of a bike, they show a different handlebar that again is not my bike. So um, we're gonna say it right now, easy assembly is incorrect. If it was easy in the directions, they would show me my bike, not, I don't know what those bikes are, but they're not this one. So, I mean, I think that your brakes would go this way, right? I have no idea. I didn't take a picture of the bike that was on display. Would they go that way? Okay. So, if they go this way, but the top looks more, this, the seven speed thing would have to face me, I think. So does this go under like this? Okay, since the instructions are useless, at least on this step, we will put it right here. It's hard to hold this right in the middle. Okay. We put this there. Try to hold that in the middle. How am I 
I supposed to get an Allen wrench in there with this thing? Okay. Now it's not in the center again. So somehow you had to hold the bars over while you hold this and while you Allen wrench. And then the instructions, it says don't over tighten. Well, I mean, I'm not a bike manufacturer, so how am I supposed to tell what is over tightened? So that's kind of not helpful information. So I, I don't know, like I said, I have no idea when to stop tightening them. So we're gonna go with that, I guess. So now, Okay, so shift binder. I don't know what that is. Now the forks. I don't have anything that looks like that, so. Okay. Seat and seat post. Attach the seat to the seat post. Okay, it doesn't tell me at all what to do with this. Where did that go? With this thing. The instructions don't say anything about this. So, I don't know what this is for. It already has this one. So do I, I am really confused, I don't understand. Okay, so. That's the minimum. So we'll put it there. Okay, why isn't that tightening? That's not doing anything. So maybe I have to screw it? Didn't do anything. Okay. So now the seat is tight in there. Cool. It's not totally straight though, but. Okay. Is that straight? Okay. Okay, so now I have the seat on. Like I said, it didn't tell me what to do with this. So 
so let's move on to the next step. Seat and seat post, the seat and seat post are on. Pedals and cranks set. Help put it together a bicycle. Okay, so this says left. It says if you accidentally put the left one on the right side, you will cause irreversible damage. So, if you make one little mistake, you ruin your bike. Okay, now we use this little wrench that I have included. Okay, that feels pretty tight. Now let's do the other side. Thanks for the help. Yeah, thanks for the help. Thanks for the help. So I guess they're right and wrong. Well, I don't know. Putting on the handlebars is kind of hard. But it seems like all the stuff I'm doing isn't super difficult, but the instructions are pretty worthless. Okay, so that one feels tight. Now, we put on the pedals. Front wheel. Oh, that little thing is for the front wheel, it looks like. Correct quick release axle setting. Turn the lever to the open position. While holding the lever, tighten the adjusting nut. Pivot the lever towards the closed position. When the lever is halfway closed, there must be firm resistance to turn it beyond that point. If resistance is not firm, open the lever and tighten the adjusting nut in clockwise direction. Continue to pivot the lever all the way back to the closed position. Well, that makes absolutely no sense at all. No, we're going to shut the garage door. They're being too noisy down here. the front wheel. And here is this thing. So let's try to read these one more time and see if they make any sense at all. Come here, Zena. Come. And they don't even it says assembly of the front wheel. They don't even show you a picture of the front wheel on the assembly of the front wheel page.
So, but the picture that they show, it shows something that looks like this. They call this the adjusting nut. So closed position, open position. But I don't, I must have to put this through the tire because they don't, they don't even show you the tire. So, um, the wheel is tightly secured. I don't know. Oh my gosh, then I have to put on the brakes? Okay, so we're gonna have to figure this out because in the instructions for assembling the front wheel, they don't even show you a picture of the front wheel. So I have no idea if it's supposed to be this way or if it's supposed to be this way. I mean, maybe because of this thing, it will only fit this way. Um, so if we hold it like this, I also don't know what this is for. Okay, figured that one out. Now we're going to bring this tire over. Okay. Um, that doesn't look like it's going to fit that way. So this metal thing on the wheel must have to do with the brakes. Okay. Now this has a little slit in it. Oh my gosh. I don't understand. Okay, so if this metal twisty thing is supposed to go inside, but then it's like, okay. Okay, so now this goes through. What is this supposed to hook onto? Is it just supposed to sit on that bolt? Okay, so we're going to unscrew this. We're going to take this. We're going to put this in here. Then We're going to put that on the side. Okay. So I guess you just go as tight as you want. It doesn't. There's not a picture of using a wrench or anything. So. Let's just keep going, I guess. So I'm twisting on this little nut thing. Okay. Maybe that's a little too tight. Because this has to go up like that. 
but again, I'm not a bicycle engineer. How am I supposed to know how to like to tighten it? Okay. I mean, I'm kind of scared to ride it, but I think I did it all. That was really difficult. The box lies. It is not simple assembly. And the instructions are totally worthless. But the bike looks really cool. So let's stand up. I guess I could have put the kickstand down. And they must have thought this box was going to go through a natural disaster or something with all this extra padding and stuff. Okay, so now all I got to do is put some air in it. Okay. So now, let's see if these tell me how much air to put in. Inflate to 50 to 75 PSI. So 50 to 75. So we're going to go to six, like 65, 60, 65, because that's like right in the middle. Okay, now we'll do the back one.
cool. So I've got it all put together. So now I'm before I take Xena, I'm going to do a quick little test drive. See how I like it. And then we're gonna grab Xena. I put on the handlebars they have, wrong. They have to be like this. You gotta be able to see what gear you're in. So if it's way like that, obviously that's wrong. So somewhere in there is good. And okay. You can tighten it. And your your brakes are gonna angle down. If they're straight like this, uh, you need to twist it down more. So that is generally how they should look. So now when you use your grip shift, you can actually see what gear you're in, second gear, third gear, fourth. If that's way down, you can't see it. Sweet, I'm gonna go on a test drive before I get Xena. Did you fill up your tires? Yeah, there are 50 to 75. Okay. I like these because it's got disc brakes. See, now that's the other thing. The directions didn't say anything about how to put that together. So did I do it right? Yeah, did you, uh, yeah, that seems tight. Yeah, looks good. You just have to line up your uh, disc inside of your brake caliper, which you did. This seat's gonna be up way too high. Okay. You're gonna wanna put it down about like that. It's a very quality bike for the price. I read somewhere it was maybe made by Giant, which is a very good brand of bikes. Cool, I'm gonna go on a test drive. Yeah, go down the street. You're really like bent forward. Okay. Okie dokie. Kind of different than what I'm used to. I don't know how I'm gonna... When I carry Xena, she will be like hanging. I really don't understand how gears work, but let's click it. Okay, I like that. I like it when it feels harder to push. So I am shifted all the way to the like hardest feeling to push. I mean, it will take some getting used to, but it is pretty nice. The brakes, they sound so weird. They sound like this bike has been sitting out in the rain for a couple months. Oh my goodness, hard to push in the wind. Okay, now we're going back up over the curve. Okay, that was good. I don't know why, but the thin tires just freak me out. I've never ridden a bike like this before. I'm scared if I hit a rock, I'll go flying. How I look. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to carry Xena on this. Well, Mr. Cameraman's gonna give it a go and then I'm gonna go try it with Xena. So I put on the handlebars wrong. Yeah. So what's it, wrong with them? These are all crisscrossed and they're really tense. They gotta be loose. So I struggled when I put this thing together the first time too with that because the issue is if they're tight like this, your brake caliper has essentially pressure on it like you're putting pressure on the handle. So you have to take this completely off and you have to untwist all this. So, yeah, see it's all twisted up. So that right there, that's looser. You had it just twisted too much. And the other thing is all this needs to be out in front. So... 
You don't want anything behind wrapped behind this because this is going to turn. Mm -hmm. So this is good. So now when you turn your handlebars, everything's got some slack to move. That's the way you want it. So now we can reattach this. And I suspect that we also will not have that front brake um, dragging. Is that why it was so squeaky? Well, it was, something was dragging and I didn't know what it was. And I realized it was the brake caliper. What are you breathing like that for? Just chill out. Once I get these tightened, can line it up in there. So now, now oh, it's still dragging. Hold that. Do you hear that? Yeah. See, this should free wheel and not not stop like that. The reason it's stopping is because the brake is dragging. So I'm not sure how you put this on, but I'm going to take it off and then we'll look at it. Did you put, move that spring over here? Yeah. Yeah, you don't do that. They both go there. The picture shows a spring on both sides. But a lot of the pictures were not even of this bike. Okay, so now what are you doing? Um, trying to put more slack on this caliper. Caliper is what squeezes the disc, so then we don't get that grinding. So the first thing I did was just unscrew this to give, give it some slack, but I'm maxed out. So now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna unscrew this a little bit. This doesn't work. I'm gonna have to actually adjust the cable. Just rubbing. Most people probably wouldn't care. But me, I don't like that. So. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some slack here. This, this you want tight, this here. Let's see here. Actually, it's already at its lowest tolerance. So. Rubbing up against that. 
Here, let me hold it up and you can spin it again. I think the back wheel's doing that. No. Yeah, it's just this brake. So I'm gonna try to loosen this. See if it makes a difference. I don't think it will. But you never know. Oh, yeah. like this is bad. Huh. So that didn't make a difference. So but the only thing I can think to do Well, it took Mr. Cameraman a whole ton of finagling a bunch of different bolts and, or I don't know if they're bolts, I don't know. He had to do a whole bunch of stuff to get rid of that grinding noise on the front wheel. So I don't know what that's all about, but while I'm on here with Zena, she actually is pretty comfy with her right there. You guys aren't getting the best view, but yeah, I mean, we're just gonna go for a little ride, see how we like it. it in our development, they have curbs that like gradually go up. So it does do those pretty well, actually. every single bump and the brakes they just sound so crazy to me never seen that before. I just rode our bike past a guy burning his weeds in the front yard. That was pretty crazy looking, crazy smelling too. This is definitely going to take some getting used to. It's a lot of pressure on the palms of my hands. Thanks. Huh. They're selling airheads, I guess. But, yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of getting used to. I mean, you're, you're leaned really far forward, which I'm not a huge fan of. But, hi! But it rides really, really well, actually. So, I think we're just gonna head home and then me and Zena are gonna plan out a longer bike ride. I'll get my helmet on and stuff. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's a nice bike. Mr. Cameraman really knows bikes and he thinks that it's absolutely amazing. So, I mean, it's very, very high quality. 
like I said, and like you saw, it's extremely difficult to put together. We had some issues with the brake, so you do need someone that's um, very knowledgeable in bikes in order to get an issue like that resolved. So without Mr. Cameraman, I would not be riding this bike right now. But yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you see the next time me and Zena upload a new video. Get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one. Bye.